Hello and welcome back. Today I have a bumper video. It's going to be a mixed Uniqlo and Cos review as requested over on Instagram. So first part of this video we're going to focus on Uniqlo, then I'll have a timestamp on screen of when I'll start talking through Cos. But essentially I'm going to break down the best 10 items to buy from Uniqlo right now along with the best pieces to buy from Cos based on my opinion and everything that I've tried, looked at, seen in store. I'm going to try all these items on and give you an idea of how you could style them and everything that I do share in this video will be linked in the description box below. Just click show more. And if you are new here and you want to see more videos like this, then please do hit the subscribe button. So let's get into it with the very first piece from Uniqlo. And this to me is such a sleeper hit. I don't think I've seen anybody talk about these before and I really don't know why. These are called the Women's Cotton Relaxed Ankle Pants. And I feel like these kind of lean in on that idea of wanting to wear more of a straighter, relaxed silhouette without being too over the top, too exaggerated. And I like that these are cropped too. I think this is the type of item you could have in your wardrobe that you could transition easily from work to weekend depending on your styling and also where you work. But if you cover the elasticated waistband, that's a really nice way to kind of have that formality but still all the comfort and ease of a casual trouser. That the pockets, I mean they're 100% cotton. They come in quite a few different colors but I went with a very classic tan and they do have on the interior a little drawstring here so that you can tighten them or fasten them so they sit where you want. Uh, but I think these are absolutely brilliant and I would say that they fit true to size but they've got a little bit of extra room at the waist. I definitely wouldn't size down because then they'll be a little bit too snug everywhere else. The cotton is so nice and smooth. It has a really beautiful hand feel to it. So that is my first pick from Uniqlo. I really don't think that you could go wrong with these and honestly I had to stop myself from picking them out in every single color. <laughs> I feel like everyone knows that Uniqlo is the number one place to visit if you are traveling somewhere cold and you need to get great base layers and of course I had to include something from the heat tech range and I really think that their entire heat tech range is amazing. The little quilted liner jackets are great because they fold down really small. Perfect if you're only taking a travel on. But I thought I would highlight their padded quilted vest because I think this is a really cool layering piece that also works well on its own too and you'll be able to see in the styling hard worn this just on its own with some shorts. I think that's quite a cute way to wear it. You could even do a slip skirt as well uh, but it's really thin and lightweight but it adds this nice element of warmth to your core part of your body you really need that kind of warm cozy feeling and of course these do come in loads of different colors I went with the off-white which I thought would work really nicely with my wardrobe and it does have the pockets here too now these are great layering pieces if you commute to work too and you want to wear it underneath your blazer because the actual style of it means that you can conceal it pretty easily and you could also wear this underneath a jumper as well if you're wearing something especially oversized so that is pick number two from Uniqlo. These really elegant ladylike style knitted jackets are having a huge moment. Very similar in line with the one I'm wearing right now. This one is from Cezanne and obviously a much higher price point. So I was thrilled when I walked into Uniqlo and I saw that they've done their own version. And I thought this is just such a great affordable take. And they have some really fun colours. I opted to uh, try out this one here, which is the cobalt blue and navy mixed yarn, which I think is really, really pretty. And quite a subtle way to add a little bit of colour into your wardrobe, has these really big oversized buttons down the centre and then you also have these small functional pockets where you could put your card or a little lipstick or something like that in there. Looks really sweet, warm both open or completely buttoned up if you wanted something a little bit more elegant and I would say that this particular style I think is suited to those who have more of an average or shorter torso. I have a long torso and I find this comes up just a little bit on the short side for me. I do want to take a moment to point out that the composition is not 100% natural fibres so it is a blended cotton. I think it's got polyester, some acrylic in it which is what is going to help bring down the price. The one I'm wearing here from Cezanne is 100% merino so you can kind of understand why it does have that slightly higher price point but Overall, I think a really beautiful option and I love the mix of both brights and neutrals within this style. The next item that I think is kind of a must have from Uniqlo at the moment are their pleat front pants and you've probably seen everybody talk about these. I know so many people who have them in multiple colors because they really are that good. The price point is excellent and my experience with their trousers, especially these suiting style trousers, is that they hold up really well in the wash and I mean these ones here I've had for quite a while. So deep khaki green and I don't know if this particular color is still available but they have tons of options and they tend to do different weights of fabrication as well depending on the time of year but this is an especially good option for a 
kind of wider leg trouser if you are petite and you want to have a trouser that is a little bit more flowy through the leg but that isn't going to swamp you and I really like the fact that Uniqlo have their own in-house tailoring service which is incredibly handy if you do need to take anything up and at least here online in Australia you can always specify how much you'd like the trousers taken up when you go to purchase them. Now I'm a typical AU8 or size small however I've got these in the extra small which gives me a really nice snug fit around the hip. If you want them to be a bit more relaxed I would recommend sticking with your usual size but you do have a bit of flexibility as with the belt loops you can just cinch them in at the waist. The Uniqlo Clear Weight Color Collection just recently launched here in Australia so if you were in the northern hemisphere some of these pieces might not be available however I wanted to share with you my top pick. I kind of went through the whole collection and there were a number of things that caught my eye but this I thought was the sort of star of the hero piece. I think the cashmere vest is really really nice though. So the two pieces that I ended up picking out were the Merino Will Half Zip, and this is in this beautiful burnt orange. This has so much vibrancy and color to it. I think it is such a stunning shape, especially for the cooler months. 100% merino wool. It's not that really fine merino wool that might pull or that is going to pill up in a way that essentially makes it feel unwearable. You could very easily care for this just with a deep bobbler or a wool comb if you've got one. So with that, and then also the matching mini skirt. And I just thought this was such a sweet set. I especially like it worn just with a knee-high boot. I think that, that looks really chic. You could do some black tights when it gets really, really cool. I do think those really, really chunky lug sole boots that are quite wide through the calf would look cool with these two for that juxtaposition within the styles. But of course, you could wear these two pieces separately. I just thought, as I said, they work so harmoniously together because you kind of have this really chill element of the sweater. And then that's almost juxtaposed against the kind of elegant ladylike aspect through the cut of the skirt, but both really, really well made. And in terms of sizing, I sized up on the sweater, so I'm wearing this in the medium. And then on the skirt, I sized down to an extra small, as I found that the small was a little bit too big at the waist. Again, I am a very true AU8. Uh, or size 26 in jeans and my general experience with a lot of trousers from Uniqlo is that they do tend to be more generously cut and I'll talk to that a bit more on the next piece but really stunning if you want something even more classic the navy I thought was really beautiful and it's this very nice rich deep navy that isn't too blue I think every single one of my Uniqlo edits always features a pair of jeans and these ones I believe I've talked about before but they really are just that good that I had to mention them again. These are called the Wide Straight Jeans. I am going to kind of touch on the sizing of these because I do think that's going to come down to personal preference. These are a 100% cotton jean and this is really important because I've tried on other jeans from Uniqlo and they've kind of missed the mark. The reason being that the fabric composition is not almost 100% cotton, it will be a blend with tensile and polyester and they don't quite feel like jeans and when you have an idea in your head of what something should feel like, what it should look like on the body, then that's really going to affect your perception of what the item sort of does for you when you're trying it on. Anyway, back to the jeans. So these are a wide leg jean, but they don't feel overly exaggerated and we're seeing a lot of that right now. These to me feel very much in my roundhouse and not too much outside of my comfort zone. I went down two denim sizes, so I'm usually 26 and I got these in the 24 inch because I wanted them to be fitted around the waist. I wanted them to sit high up on the waist so that I could really make the most and maximize my proportions and make my legs look really long. But if you want them to be slouchier, then you may find that they work best in your usual denim size. But I mean, the price point is so good. They're $60 and actually I have a feeling that this particular style might also be on sale too. So. A really really good price point especially if you are in the market for affordable jeans okay i have another merino piece here and i've said before i will steer clear of the extra fine merino items just as i find they're a little bit too delicate and just prone to getting snags but also my husband used to wear them all the time and they wouldn't last longer than a season of him wearing them once a week so <laughs> kind of moved on from those and instead I look for things that have a little bit more thickness to them and this really ticked the boxes here and we are seeing a lot of these kind of collared polo style cardigans that you can wear done all the way up or my personal preference is to reveal a little bit of the neckline and have it worn open so you have more of a v-neck so this particular style here is called hang on the extra fine merino red polo cardigan so it isn't that fine merino fabrication but it doesn't feel overly thin it feels like it's got a little bit of grit to it a little bit of uh, substance which I really like it's kind of got 
these beautiful black charcoal buttons that have a slight pearlescence to them, the little collar, it's not too pointed or too sharp, it's all very kind of soft in terms of how it looks on. And I found sizing wise with this, if you want it to be a little bit roomy through the body, stick with your usual size, but I'm wearing the extra small, which is a size down in the cutaways, and I think that's a really good fit for me. If you're overly busty, then you may find you want to stick with your usual size, because otherwise you may have a little bit of gaping at the button area. But I think this is absolutely beautiful and this dark charcoal grey but it does also come in a range of other colours too. Moving on to item number eight, I had to highlight Uniqlo's t-shirts and I have to say I haven't tried a t-shirt from Uniqlo that I didn't really like and ultimately it's all down to the fit that you personally crave but I would say my favourite out of all of them that I've tried so far is their Aerism tees and I believe these are unisex actually. It has a little split hem detail here at the side so you can easily do a bit of a half tuck and leave the back loose which looks really really chic. The banded collar comes up quite high and tight around the neck which I like so you're really kind of I think exaggerating that detail and the cotton itself is really lightweight but it's got a little bit of structure to it so it kind of holds its own it doesn't necessarily conform or cling to your body which I personally prefer when it comes to this sort of thing. If you want it to be really nice and oversized go up one size that'll be more than enough because you can kind of see from the cutaways even the size small that I'm wearing here looks really kind of just perfectly oversized on me but beautiful these wash and wear so well and they still feel really nice and silky even after you've washed them. A few years ago I did a video on where to buy the best basic cashmere sweaters and Uniqlo was included in that video and I have to say in terms of accessibility and also the colour selection Uniqlo always comes up pretty high on my list. I've opted for the white here in the size small and this is a great regular fit though if you want something really slouchy and oversized I've previously purchased the men's version of this and that really helps you to achieve that look. Is this the absolute softest cashmere I've ever tried or felt in my life? No it's not but it is really good value for money and these are the types of things that you have in your wardrobe for a really really long time especially if you make sure to take care of them. I will also point out that yes the white does have a bit of transparency to it but if you are opting for a darker colour you'll find that it is fully opaque but overall I just think the cut, the fit, the way that it feels especially after it's been laundered and kind of gets this really fluffy element to it just perfection you kind of really can't go wrong. Finally we have the cropped red tank and this one I've opted for here in the grey but there are some really fun colours but none of them really suited my complexion so I went with a classic standard style. And what I love about this is that it has a concealed shelf bra that you can't actually see and it is padded too so you don't need to wear a bra with this. This is a great option if you are someone who is smaller chested and maybe you tend to go braless but you want a little bit of support. It works wonderfully as a base layer and also good with your basics if you want to reveal just a little bit of your midriff. Now I want to move on to Cos and you'll probably be familiar with this as a brand that I love to go to for elevated essentials and so I've picked out some of my favorite pieces from the brand right now and I'm going to just start with the very first one which I'm going to show you how you can achieve this look with things that you might already own in your closet. So it is a coat and Cos do really stunning coats, really beautiful long belted coats, usually wool whether they're 100% wool or they're a wool blend. And this one is a wool blend, it's 60% wool and 40% lysol which is what gives it a really nice sort of beautiful drape and it almost has this slight felted effect to it. Uh, it is just double faced wool so it doesn't have a lining. You'll find that it will keep out the wind chill but if you live in a particularly cold climate then you would want to wear some base layers underneath. Maybe some of the heat tech from Uniqlo that I mentioned earlier. Now you're probably looking at this going, hmm, I really recognize that design and it's because it is more of an affordable alternative to the scarf coat from Totem and I really love the version that Cos have done because it doesn't have that contrast stitch around the edges. One of the elements that sort of had a heritage prairie like feel that didn't really feel in line with my personal style. Uh, so you can see here it is a collarless design, it's got the buttons down the front, it's really nice and oversized, it kind of has that element of Scandi cool and it has some nice wide sleeves as well. Now I will say, so this was 350 Australian dollars which I think is really reasonable for the quality and for what it is, but if you 
already have a collarless coat, you can easily achieve the same look by finding a scarf in the same colour and just wearing that over your shoulders. So <laughs> when I showed my husband this and he was a bit confused about why the scarf was even attached to it and he goes, what if you just want to wear the scarf? And then I showed him the black coat, the black scarf over the top and he thought they're essentially the same thing. So really, really beautiful but just a reminder that you don't necessarily need to buy into a full trend in order to achieve that same look. Oh, and I should mention this coat runs enormous. I'm wearing the extra small and I think even an extra extra small would have been fine. Now my battle with the cashmere, I also talked about COS and I will say from terms of the high street, it has some of the nicest cashmere and the price point for the quality that you're getting, it feels like luxury. So. I went with this oversized cashmere sweater here and the reason why I actually was drawn to this was because the hand feel, the actual weight of it reminded me a lot of my old Celine cashmere sweater that I have and that retailed for about three and a half thousand Australian dollars. This was one tenth the price and it really just, it feels so similar, it is so soft, so cosy, feels almost like a little hug when you're wearing it. I like that it is that oversized look, it kind of reminds me in some ways of the Jenny Kane sweaters but again even more affordable because Jenny Kane sweaters sort of run around the $500 to $600 mark for the most part anyway in Australia. Um, but the details, everything are really really lovely how it has this really thick ribbing here along the collar which is also replicated at the hem and then also on the cuffs of the sleeves. The fit of it is again that kind of Scandi cool which is something you're going to get a lot with the COS brand. Everything tends to be either an exaggerated or interesting shape or it's going to be quite kind of loose and a little bit shapeless because the styling is really the key point and also having that element of ease in your outfits. But absolutely stunning and I think any of their cashmere sweaters are just such a win, definitely worth looking at. Something I was specifically asked to find at COS was really good trousers and they've got a range of styles though I think really a lot of it's going to come down to the particular type of cut you like. Many of their trousers tend to be more of that barrel leg or even a cropped cut which isn't going to suit everyone so I decided to go for something that was a little bit more universal and this is their pleat front pant and these are in wool and the colour actually reminds me a lot of a pair that I've got from Facade Pattern but it comes in a few different colour options. These have the double pleat detail down the front here and they are a very nice wide leg. These are a lot wider than the Uniqlo trousers I mentioned before. So the Uniqlo ones are great if you want to dip in or you're more petite and you would like a trouser that isn't going to swamp you. These I think are better for girls who are more average height or tall because there is quite a lot of fabric here and it won't feel like you are working really really hard to make them look the way you want them to. Uh, but I think with the details on them, everything is really, really nice. How it's just got the single pocket on the bag, the belt loop so you can cinch in at the waist. Sizing wise, I do find that COS trousers are a little bit more of the generous side. So I am wearing 34 in these and they're a really comfortable fit on the waist. I can still tuck a sweater into them, no problem. They're quite a thin trouser, so I think you could wear these probably nine months of the year. I wouldn't probably be reaching for these in the summertime because they'd feel a little bit too warm. But when it is particularly cold, because they are really wide leg, you could easily throw some thermal tights on underneath. Now for those of you who aren't aware, COS is actually owned by the same parent group as H&M. Arquette and other stories. I think Weekday is part of the group and maybe Monkey as well. And so if you've ever seen somebody talking about Arquette t-shirts and how much they love them, then you may like to go and check out the COS tees because they are basically exactly the same in terms of both the weight of the fabric and the way that they hang on the body. And they're just a really, really good basic. You can see that I've chosen to share this really beautiful cornflower blue, which is a color we're going to see popping up a lot in the season ahead. Blue kind of seems to be one of those colors like red was last year and I just think this is a really fun way to add in that little injection of color into your outfits whether it's just peeking out underneath a jacket these are lightweight and you can see that they aren't fully opaque if you do want a more heavyweight option COS does sell them but I find that they are very kind of structured and they don't have any movement or give like these do and they do run a little bit more on the smaller side they're a bit more a slim cut whereas this is a very traditional relaxed fit. I want a size small by the way uh, but these wash and wear really well just like the Arquette ones so 
you can't go wrong. Again, something that both Cos and I care both do really well are these base layering tops. And these are 100% merino wool. They are ever so slightly sheer, but not so much that I don't think you can get away with them for work, especially if you wore a little tank underneath for modesty. But with a skin toned bra, you can't really see it underneath. The difference between the Arquette one and the Cos one is that the Cos one actually runs really long through the body. Because it is such a fine merino wool, it means it tucks very easily into trousers and things. And they also have these little thumb holes as well, which is great because you can kind of protect and give that base part of your hand a little bit of extra warmth. Oh, and the other thing is actually also the fit. The Arquette ones are cut very close to the body, so I tend to size up to a medium in those, whereas the Cos ones are already black. So stick with your usual size to get that kind of very chill, eased out fit but a really great piece to have in your wardrobe, whether it is to wear on its own or as a layering piece under other items. So I mentioned before that one of the things I really like about COS is how they do kind of elevated basics and they really have this unique way of making very simple things quite architectural. And that really couldn't be more true than with this dress here. And it's gonna be really hard to show you because it is black, but hopefully if you click through to the website, you'll get a better look. This dress here has almost got this patchwork of strips that have been sewn across here. It creates a grid. And then at the base, you have this scarf-like detail with the tassels and the, and the stitching that goes horizontal across the dress stops. So you almost have these little flaps that move around as you walk. And I talk a lot about how I love movement and clothing, particularly when it comes to items that we wear for the office and pleats are something I especially love. This is a way to get that same effect but without wearing a pleated skirt, which I know many people tend to avoid. So this is a great way to achieve that same look. This is 100% wool. It is so, so thick and cozy and weighty. It has this really, really thick collar, but I just think this is such a fun item. You could also belt it at the waist as well if you wanted to kind of have that bit of definition there but it would look really chic with a long sleeve top underneath. You can see in the styling, I just paired it with some knee high boots, but I probably do tights as well. You could wear it over some trousers if you really wanted to. I think that would be a cool way to kind of juxtapose the style and then maybe some crystal and embellished shoes. Final thing I wanted to mention is an accessory piece. And this is this absolutely beautiful checked scarf. Now, a checked scarf was actually on my wish list to buy for 2024. And when I saw this in Cos, I kind of was like that that is the one because I did want something that incorporated a little bit of color and I loved the injection of this bright blue here mixed with the cream, the really lovely warm camel brown and then also the black. This reminds me a lot of the Acne Studio scarves which run around the $500 mark. This is a fraction of the price and it feels very, very similar. It's mohair so it may shed ever so slightly but it has this really fuzzy tactile quality to it which I absolutely love. So that was the final piece that I wanted to share as being one of my top picks from Cos at the moment. So those were all of my favorite pieces. If you were kind of in the market for adding something new to your wardrobe and you're shopping at Uniqlo or Cos, I'd make a beeline to those first over everything else. But I think I might do a blog post as well where I share some of the other top picks from both brands. If you want to click over to my website, I'll have that link down in the description box below. But Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that this review and trial was helpful for you. And if you do have any other favorites from either brand, I would love if you could share them down in the comment section below so other people can find them. We can start off a bit of a conversation around it. But thank you so, so much for spending a little bit of your day with me. I am always forever grateful. If you haven't subscribed yet and you would like to, I would love to have you back. And I will see you next time with a brand new video. See you very soon. Bye.